Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Calgary, where the local time is approximately noon. Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened and your carry-on items stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned on. You know, we're right in the heart of the Central Flyway here, and what's so amazing about Saskatchewan, there's 652,000 square kilometers of land base here. And what's even more incredible is there's 1.1 million residents in this entire province. Half of those live in two major cities, so when you come out here and look around, it's absolutely overwhelming the opportunity to hunt waterfowl here. But what's even cooler is the ducks here. They say there's about 40 million ducks on the continent in North America, and a big part of those migrate through here. central flyway this portion of where we are is it's just full of snow geese and speckle bellies. You know, people come here for the sheer numbers of geese. It's absolutely overwhelming and it's really cool to see someone's reaction the first time they see a full 160 acres covered in specks and white geese.
middle of pothole country here, and there's just water everywhere. It's called the duck factory for a reason, because the nesting habitat is just off the charts. But there's a real art to hunting ducks up here, and it involves a set of binoculars, a set of landowner maps, a phone book, the ability to drive gravel roads at 80 miles an hour with the last 10 minutes of light, watching a grind of ducks work a pea field four miles in the distance. is we try and zone in on those spots where they're feeding in lentils and peas, we call it duck cocaine, and you quickly try and get on the phone, get permission, and then we really strictly have a rule that we just shoot the fields here. If you leave the big roosting habitat alone and the water alone, the ducks will stay, you give them a safe zone and a little safe harbor where you're not hassling them. work really hard over a four or five day period and it'll all come together two or three times or it's just that magical moment that all that hard work and you're just dog tired and it all pays off and you're just pulling the trigger laughing with your buddies and just going oh man this is all worth it and hopefully it stays this way for many many years and we continue to look after the habitat and meet great people and great friends in these pubs and out in the fields and, and really enjoy this gem of a place.